dive into the captivating story of Teddy Sheringham, a football legend whose journey from the fields of Millwall to the heights of Manchester United is a tale of triumph. But his career was not without its hurdles. In today's video, he will reveal some interesting news. Teddy Sheringham, born the 2nd of April 1966, kicked off his professional football journey with Millwall in 1982, being discovered at 16 after shining in a youth match for Leytonstone and Ilford. His debut season swiftly saw him netting goals, signalling the start of a prolific stint. His early years included loans to Aldershot and Swedish side Jurgarden, after which he firmly established himself as Millwall's leading striker, particularly in a successful partnership with Tony Cascarino. Sheringham became Millwall's top scorer in multiple seasons, his goal-scoring prowess peaking in the 1990-91 season with 37 goals, marking him as the league's top scorer. This period at Millwall was a significant chapter in Sheringham's career, with his efforts contributing to the team's promotion to the first division. Despite the club's later relegation, his individual success was undeniable, breaking club records with a total of 111 goals, making him a standout figure in Millwall's history until 2009. His extraordinary performance during these formative years not only showcased his scoring talent, but also set the stage for his subsequent moves to higher-profile clubs. At 25, Teddy Sheringham left Millwall to join Nottingham Forest in 1991 for £2 million, teaming up with Nigel Clough. Sheringham's impact was immediate, contributing significantly to Forrest's performance, which included an eighth-place finish in the first division and a run to the League Cup final, although they were defeated by Manchester United. Notably, he scored Forrest's inaugural Premier League goal in a game against Liverpool, a historic moment as it was the first live goal broadcast on Sky Sports. Despite this success, Sheringham's tenure at Forest was brief. He transferred to Tottenham Hotspur after just one season for £2.1 million, Forrest's subsequent struggle and relegation in the 1992-93 season was partly attributed to their inability to replace Sheringham's attacking prowess. At Tottenham Hotspur, Teddy Sheringham quickly made his mark, finishing as the Premier League's top scorer in its debut season with 22 goals, 21 of which were scored after his move to Tottenham, earning him immediate acclaim. Partnered with notable forwards like Gordon Dury, Ronnie Rosenthal, Jurgen Klinsmann and later Chris Armstrong, Sheringham was instrumental in Tottenham's attacking play. His 1993-94 season was marred by injuries, limiting him to 19 appearances and contributing to Spurs' struggle in the league, where they narrowly avoided relegation. The 1994-95 season saw an improvement, with Sheringham aiding Tottenham to a seventh-place finish and an FA Cup semi-final appearance. His partnership with Klinsmann was particularly noted, with Klinsmann praising Sheringham's intelligence on the field as unmatched. Sheringham became a fan favourite, establishing himself as a premier striker in the league by the mid-1990s. Despite his individual successes and critical acclaim, major club honours eluded him until later in his career leading to speculation about his potential to conclude his career without significant titles. Teddy Sheringham's move to Manchester United in 1997 marked a significant turn in his career, coming in at £3.5 million to fill the void left by Eric Cantona's retirement. His debut in the 1997 FA Charity Shield, which United won on penalties against Chelsea, was promising, but his initial phase at Old Trafford was challenging, especially facing hostility from Tottenham fans during his first league match for United. Sheringham's first season with United didn't live up to expectations, ending without major honours and marked by a tense relationship with fellow striker Andy Cole. Despite these difficulties, the following seasons saw a turnaround in fortunes, the 1998-99 season, despite starting with speculation about his future due to Dwight York's arrival, ended triumphantly. Sheringham played crucial roles in clinching the treble for United, scoring pivotal goals in both the FA Cup final and the iconic Champions League final against Bayern Munich. Teddy Sheringham's return to Tottenham Hotspur marked a significant phase in his career, rejoining the club after his successful stint at Manchester United. At Tottenham, under manager Glenn Hoddle, Sheringham contributed to the team reaching their highest league position in six years and reaching the League Cup final, though they narrowly lost to Blackburn Rovers. His experience and leadership on the field were invaluable, and despite not securing a major trophy during this return, his impact was evident with 26 goals in 80 appearances. Sheringham then moved to Portsmouth, adding to his legacy by becoming the oldest player to score a Premier League hat-trick, 
His time at Portsmouth was short-lived but memorable, contributing significantly in their Premier League campaign before moving to West Ham United. At West Ham, the club he supported as a boy, Sheringham had a notable influence, helping them gain promotion to the Premier League and then playing in the memorable 2006 FA Cup final against Liverpool. Despite the final's loss, his performance throughout the season was a testament to his enduring quality as a forward. Sheringham ended his playing career at Colchester United, where despite his age, he continued to make valuable contributions on the pitch, showing his scoring prowess and bringing his professional career full circle with over 700 league appearances. In each club, Sheringham left a mark not only with his goal-scoring record, but also with his professionalism, experience and influence on teammates and fans alike, demonstrating the qualities that made him one of the most respected strikers of his generation. The subsequent seasons solidified Sheringham's impact, with United winning consecutive Premier League titles and him personally achieving top scorer for the team in the 2001 season. His performance earned him the prestigious PFA Players Player of the Year and FWA Footballer of the Year awards. Teddy Sheringham's return to Tottenham Hotspur marked a significant phase in his career, rejoining the club after his successful stint at Manchester United. At Tottenham, under manager Glenn Hoddle, Sheringham contributed to the team reaching their highest league position in six years, and reaching the League Cup final, though they narrowly lost to Blackburn Rovers. His experience and leadership on the field were invaluable, and despite not securing a major trophy during this return, his impact was evident with 26 goals in 80 appearances. Sheringham then moved to Portsmouth, adding to his legacy by becoming the oldest player to score a Premier League hat-trick. His time at Portsmouth was short-lived but memorable, contributing significantly in their Premier League campaign before moving to West Ham United. At West Ham, the club he supported as a boy, Sheringham had a notable influence, helping them gain promotion to the Premier League and then playing in the memorable 2006 FA Cup final against Liverpool. Despite the final's loss, his performance throughout the season was a testament to his enduring quality as a forward. Sheringham ended his playing career at Colchester United, where, despite his age, he continued to make valuable contributions on the pitch, showing his scoring prowess and bringing his professional career full circle with over 700 league appearances. In each club, Sheringham left a mark not only with his goal-scoring record, but also with his professionalism, experience and influence on teammates and fans alike, demonstrating the qualities that made him one of the most respected strikers of his generation. Teddy Sheringham's international career began later than many of his contemporaries, earning his first England cap at 27. Under Terry Venables, he became a key player, forming a prolific partnership with Alan Shearer known as the SAS. The duo shone during Euro 96, particularly in the memorable four one win over the Netherlands. Sheringham's intelligent play and ability to link midfield and attack made him an integral part of the England setup. Despite being overshadowed by emerging talents like Michael Owen, Sheringham experienced a resurgence under Sven Goran Eriksson, contributing significantly as a tactical substitute. Notably, he scored swiftly after coming on against Greece in a crucial World Cup qualifier although this moment was often eclipsed by Beckham's late equaliser. Sheringham's international tenure concluded after the 2002 World Cup, capping off a distinguished national team career with 51 caps and 11 goals. Fast forward to his coaching career. In May 2014, Teddy Sheringham took on a role as an attacking coach at West Ham United, where he played a part in enhancing the team's playing style. This led to notable improvements, highlighted by Diafra Sarko's Player of the Month award in October 2014. Sheringham's coaching journey continued as he became the manager of Stevenage in League Two in May 2015. Despite facing challenges and even registering as a player at the age of 49, his tenure was short-lived, ending in February 2016 due to poor results. Sheringham's next venture led him to India, where he coached ATK in the Indian Super League starting in July 2017. However, his time there was also brief, as he was dismissed in January 2018 after a series of unsatisfactory performances. After retiring from football in 2008, Teddy Sheringham turned his competitive focus to poker, making a significant impact on the international scene. He has competed in various tournaments globally and achieved commendable success. Notably, at the European Poker Tour EPT event in Villamora, Sheringham made it to the final table of the 5,000 euros no limit hold a main event. Out of 384 participants, he finished in fifth place, securing a prize of 93,121 euros. This achievement underscores his skill and seriousness in the poker world, marking him as a respected player on the poker circuit.